Bit of history, Sam. I don't think I've ever interviewed a player at 8.15 in the morning. <laughs> um, early start, off to Barnsley today. Um, you ready for the challenge ahead? Yeah, no, a bit of an earlier start, but obviously, um, I say we've got another tough test this weekend, so a bit of an early trip, but it's good to go up on a Friday. We'll train on the way up and then stay overnight, so yeah, all prepared for tomorrow, yeah. How do you feel after Tuesday? Has it lifted a weight off the shoulder, returning to winning ways? I think so, yeah. It's always nice to get a win when, um, obviously, it had been a few games where we hadn't got three points, so... I think that was the main thing on Tuesday night, just getting the result. Um, it wasn't our best performance still. You know, I think we still got a lot to improve on. Um, there were some positives. Obviously, there's things to, to work on, but it was just the main thing was getting the three points. So everyone was really pleased to come away with a win, and hopefully we can build on that now. So when we asked Marcus after the game, has the tide turned? Um, you probably played better in the second half against Oxford, didn't score, and yet um, Wimbledon you did. So maybe a bit of luck on your side for once. Yeah, exactly. That's the way the game can go sometimes. You know, you don't always get rewards for your good play and sometimes you don't play as well and, and you end up winning the game so I think if we approach it in the right way and we keep trying to do the right things then um, hopefully you know we you know, got a point against Oxford or win against Wimbledon so you know it's, hopefully that's the start for us to push on now. Yeah your week of course the Oxford game um, with, with Kyle and um, both starting the game on, on Tuesday um, what, what difference did maybe having a bit of width have to the players do you think on, on Tuesday night? Yeah, I suppose it's that's down to the manager, really. Um, obviously, he picks the shape, whatever he feels is fit for the game coming up. So, you know, against some teams, it might work better to have wingers. Against other teams, it might be better to have a bit more of a narrow shape. So, you know, that's down to him to decide, really. Obviously, myself and Carl and, and anyone that's um, in the squad is just ready to come on and try and make an impact or be ready to play whenever they're called upon. Yeah. Um, is that the end of goal droughts as well? Um, Rovers scored two. I guess there were two scruffy goals, but they felt very pretty. Um, are you confident that um, there are goals, not just for the strikers, but uh, around, around the team in general? I hope so, yeah. I think obviously we probably can still um, create more chances in open play. There probably is still room for improvement in our attacking play. But the main thing is if you are scoring goals, no matter how they're going in, um, you know, if you win games, then you know, that, that's the main thing. So, of course, I think all of us would like to you know, get more shots on goal, get more opportunities. But... Um, I think that'll hopefully come if we can get, get some results and you know it breeds confidence. Fans really only ever see you on a match day, you know, three o'clock on a Saturday. Um, but the corner that you took for the Upson goal um, was that just an example of work on the training ground? It was a brilliantly placed corner and it seemed targeted, um, mm. and it resulted in a goal. Yeah, we do work on set pieces a lot. Obviously, there's usually a plan going into the game of exactly what we want to try and achieve with the set pieces. So it was um, you know, for that particular game. It was I was just told try and put it underneath the crossbar, and luckily. Um, you know the way it went it just obviously caused a bit of confusion for the goalie and all the lads were piled in around the six yard box we managed to get a rebound and get a goal from it I don't think you were born the last time Rovers played Barnsley in the league it's 25 years ago um, it's, it sounds a tough challenge Oakwell you know Barnsley former championship club what, what are you expecting on Saturday? To be honest I've obviously I've never played Barnsley myself so it's been a new, new challenge for me but um, obviously they're doing well in the league this season I'm sure they're a strong side from, from what I've found in this league so far, it seems that like every team you play is a tough game. Um, and sometimes it doesn't matter on so much league positions, it can just come down to, you know, every single team's got their strengths and weaknesses. It's always a tough test. So, yeah, it'll be an interesting game. Hopefully we'll go there and off the back of, obviously, a couple of decent results. We can just try and build on that and hopefully we come away with something. Yeah, there's no reason you can't go to work and get a positive result, is there? No, exactly. I just think the way the games go, you, can, you can't read anything, really. Um, you've just got to go with the right intentions. You know, work hard. I think if we can carry on doing what we've been doing well off the ball defensively, um, we've been pretty solid, and then that gives us an opportunity to go and try and win the game. Thank you. Thanks.